How does it feel to be free? It feels great, Pierce. It's an amazing story because you weren't even interested really in golf. And then you get asked to draw uh, some pictures of famous golfing venues, which you do very beautifully. Uh, and this somehow leads to your release. When you look back on this whole process, what do you think about it? I mean, it's been an amazing journey. You know, it's, it's been mind-boggling, you know. I'm a black guy from inner city, a very bad neighborhood, and uh, I've never golfed before. And the opportunity came, and uh, we're here. This Valen has been a blessing. Valentino, you, you hadn't had an interest in the game before you went into prison. What was it that got you drawing so beautifully these, these golf courses? And, and also, when you reflect, thinking about the fact that taking that up, those pictures are what eventually led to your release. It's so unlikely, almost miraculous. Yeah, I, I've never drawn golf courses ever, but I've been drawing since I was a child, maybe three or four years old. And um, after I was arrested and sent to prison for a crime I didn't commit, I took a serious ear, uh, interest in drawing, and I just took my drawing to another level. So I became known as the artist inside the prison. And one day the warden, the superintendent of the prison, the top guy, he came to my cell and asked me would I draw a golf course. I've never golfed before, but I've drawn everything that you can think of, so I knew I could pull it off. You know, when I finished the draw, uh, golf course, he loved it. He took it away. I figured that was the end of it. My neighbor, white guy named Adam Roberts, he says, you know, I think you should uh, do some more golf courses. I said, oh, Adam, I don't, why? You know, and um, I laid and thought about it for about a week, and I started drawing more golf courses. And whenever I put my mind to something, I like to dig in and just go hard, you know. So for 10 hours a day, for about seven to eight months, all I did was draw golf courses. And um, I started reading the articles in Golf, golf, golf Digest magazine, and I came across a column with Max Adler of the Golf Digest, and it was called Golf Saved My Life. And it would give uh, examples of stories on how golf inspired people and, and strengthened their spirit. For example, one guy was in the Iraqi war and had lost his leg, and the only time he felt good is when he golfed. So I started to, you know, kind of realized that golf was keeping me strong, you know, and it was strengthening my spirit, you know. And jail is so hard, it's just, it breaks your spirit, you know. And here I'm sitting there drawing and, and, and I'm feeling good about it, even though I've never drawn golf courses. I'm just feeling, I felt like I was on the course. I could listen to this I know. for a lot longer because it's the most extraordinary story that just through chance, through the water asking you to draw a picture of a golf course, this chain of events that leads to this, your story becoming taken up publicly and then ultimately to your release. Let me ask you, Valentino, what are the things that you were most surprised about, about life, when you finally came out after nearly three decades? Well, first, right, walking out of the courthouse and seeing all of my supporters out there, that was really, like, overwhelming. And I always wanted to eat like...